Daniel Lipsick is a Slovak politician and jurist. He is a former Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Justice and former Minister of Interior. Until May 28, 2012 he was a member of the Christian Democratic Movement, in which he served as Vice President and a Member of Parliament. Through his legal and political career, he is noted for his hardline stance regarding officials from the former communist Czechoslovak regime, as well as crimes committed during this period. A public anti-corruption activist, he is outspoken against perceived corruption in the political or financial sphere. In May 2012, in the aftermath of the electoral defeat of the Radikova cabinet, Lipsic together with Jana Zitnanska and Gabor Grendel, left the KDH and formed a new political party called Nova. He currently serves as its president. Daniel Lipsic has consistently been ranked as one of the most trusted politicians in Slovakia. Daniel Lipsic was born on July 8, 1973 in Bratislava into a family of physicians and doctors. Both his parents, along with his twin brother Eric and all of his cousins are medical doctors, and Lipsic grew up aspiring to be a doctor, saying, I always thought I would be a doctor too, since. During communism a career in law was restricted. But after the Velvet Revolution things changed. He attended secondary school at the Gross Lingova 18 Upper Secondary School. He enrolled at the law faculty at the Comenius University in Bratislava in 1991, graduating in 1996. During his time in university he also spent time at the University of Minnesota Law School in Minneapolis and Georgetown University Law Center in Washington, D.C. In 1998 he attended Harvard Law School on a Fulbright Scholarship. Graduating in 2000 with a Master of Laws or LL.M. During his mandatory military service between 1997 and 1998 he served at the District Military Prosecutor's Office in Presho. After his military service, he was employed at the law firm Valco & Partners, as an expert in bankruptcy law. In 1999, he was appointed as head of the legal office at the Ministry of Justice by then Minister Jan Karnogorsky, where he was tasked with documenting and investigating crimes from the former Czechoslovak communist regime, which contained over 70. Oh, 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 individual cases. He was an outspoken proponent of the prosecuting the Slovak politicians responsible for the Warsaw Pact invasion of Czechoslovakia, which he called the greatest crime in the past 50. Years of Slovak history. Specifically he targeted former hardline communist leader Vasil Bilak, who was accused of signing the official document inviting Soviet forces to invade. Bilak, died in 2014 aged 94, his trial stopped due to lack of witnesses. He was also tasked with authoring laws, enabling the government to effectively combat organized crime, as well as legislation introducing stiffer penalties for violent criminals. Including a three-strikes law system which will send people convicted of three violent crimes to jail for life without parole. Commenting on this, Lipsick stated that some developed Western countries had given up trying to re-educate violent criminals, and were concentrating instead on protecting society. From Serious Criminals in addition, Lipsic authored anti-corruption legislation which gave tougher penalties on graft and outlawed bribery for the first time in Slovakia. On April 1, 2002, Daniel Lipsic resigned from his post as the head of the legal office at the Justice Ministry. This was due to a revised state service law which took effect that day, banning state bureaucrats below the level of deputy minister from being members of political parties. Lipsic, a member of the ruling coalition Christian Democrats, chose to remain with the party, and resigned. While still studying law at the university, he served as the president of the right-wing youth organization Civic Democratic Youth, which was established in 1991. As chairman of the CDY, he was also present at the 6th National Congress of the Christian Democratic Movement, which took place on 23 October 24, 1993 in Ruzhenberg. On 1998, he became a member of the party. In the 2002 Slovak parliamentary election he was placed sixth on the party list and received 42,727 preferential votes, that placed fourth behind Pavel Khrushchevsky, Jan Figel and Vladimir Palko. His mandate did not apply because he became a member of the government as a cabinet minister following the election. From October 15, 2002 he held the post of Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Justice. 435,000 during his reign, the District Court of Bratislava 1 decided with a preliminary measure that the strike of the railways in February 2003 was in breach of the law and had to be terminated immediately. The Constitutional Court later confirmed the right of railwaymen to strike. The Constitution of the Slovak Republic in Article 37 in the Section Economic, 
social and cultural rights guarantee citizens the right to freedom of association for the purpose of their economic and social interests and guarantees the right to strike. Continuing anti-communist policies of his predecessor, Lipsic unsuccessfully attempted to introduce a law, banning judges who had worked under the former communist regime from the judiciary. He also attempted to prosecute members of the judiciary who had ruled in political trials under the communist regime. The plan was unequivocally rejected by Slovakia's top judicial authorities, who argued that the law, if passed, would come much too late. In connection with the withdrawal of KDH from the ruling coalition on February 7, 2006, all KDH cabinet ministers resigned. Subsequently, on 8 February he was replaced as of Minister of Justice by Lucia Zitnanska from the SDKU. This political move KDH was associated with disapproval of the draft contract between the Slovak Republic and the Holy See regarding the right to objection of conscience, which concerns the armed forces, health, education and training, legal services and labor relations. In early parliamentary elections, held on June 17, 2006, the KDH became part of the opposition. Lipsic in these elections received the second highest number of preferential votes, 86,536. After the parliamentary elections in 2010, and the resignation of the FICO cabinet on 9 July, Lipsic became a member of the cabinet of Iveta Radikova as Minister of the Interior. After the 2012 Slovak parliamentary election which saw the governing coalition fell, Lipsic resigned. While at the Ministry of the Interior, an anonymous source alleged that Lipsic had connections with an Israeli secret agent. This led to an outburst of anti-Semitic and anti-Israeli comments in the media. It has been considered the first anti-Semitic attack on an influential politician in the history of the Slovak Republic. He currently resides in Bratislava with his family. Along with his native Slovak, Lipsic speaks English, German, and Russian. He is married to television presenter Beata Lipsikova. Together they have sons Alexander, and Peter. He has a twin brother named Eric, who is a specialist in internal medicine and is currently working as a cardiologist in Groningen in the Netherlands. On September 19, 2016, while driving home from work through the Bratislava 3 neighborhood, his Skoda Superb struck a 72-year-old pedestrian crossing the street. The man was transported to the hospital, but he later succumbed to his injuries at University Hospital Bratislava. A test carried out at the place of the accident proved Lipsic was not under the influence of alcohol when driving. Lipsic expressed his regret and offered help to the man's family. He confirmed that he was driving the car, saying he was not driving fast. He noticed the man shortly before the incident. Days later Lipsic announced that he would resign his parliamentary seat due to the case being under police investigation, saying I would not be able to do my job fully anymore. On January 23, 2017, the Bratislava police confirmed that Lipsic would be charged with unlawful killing following the accident. Thanks for watching.